Sports are never something I've really gotten into, so this is probably the first time I've played anything with football in the title. But today's In Discovery football game is a atmospheric adventure title that really does a good job of giving you the feeling that something is wrong, but you're not quite sure what. Football game opens with you getting ready to go to the big game, the football game, and planning to meet up with your girlfriend Susie. A harmless enough activity for a Friday night, but again, there's this uncanny and unsettling sense that something is off. As you're getting ready to go, flashbacks illuminate some interesting context about Tommy, the lead character, and events leading up to this evening. But the buildup is slow and steady. Until the near the end of the game, I wasn't quite sure what was going to happen, and I loved that. The pixel art and color palette contributes to this weird sense of uncertainty. I don't think I've ever seen a style like this in any game I've played recently at least, and again it contributed greatly to the atmosphere. It's a testament to the developers that they were able to keep this knot or pit in the stomach feel without any jump scares. And again, the, the art and the music contribute really greatly to the atmosphere. Puzzles in this game made sense. Adventure games can often suffer from illogical puzzles or strange combinations of interactions that you have to do to be able to progress the plot. For fans of adventure titles, and for those who pay attention to dialogue and interact with all the objects, this shouldn't take too long to work through. I'd estimate about an hour to an hour and a half for most players depending on how much time you take to solve the puzzles. It also helps, especially for those unfamiliar with the genre, that when you hover the mouse over various objects and people, you can see if they're able to be interacted with. As I mentioned before, the build-up to the finale is strong, but I did feel like the payoff at the end was a bit anticlimactic or a little bit rushed compared to how well the moments leading up to it were. It wasn't a bad ending necessarily, but it was so quickly done and so abrupt and kind of vague. I wanted it to feel a little bit more substantial, or at least have more context provided so we can come to a more informed conclusion on our own. But I hope in the future these developers release longer titles because I still found myself wishing that this game was longer, and perhaps with a longer game they'd be able to flesh out some of their more really solid ideas and again provide an ending that either has the context and is still vague so we can come to different conclusions on our own, or has just again more of a fleshed out ending. One last note, uh, while playing, the game felt really dark to me, as in some of the game was hard to see, not just the atmosphere. So of course about 10 minutes in, I finally realized I could go into the settings and adjust the brightness, which solved that issue immediately, but it was something that affected my experience of the title for that first 10 minutes, so I wanted to put that in there, so if you play, I would recommend just bumping up that brightness a little bit. Especially at the price point that this game is at, I would recommend this to anyone who's a fan of the Uncanny, looking for a really well done suspenseful atmosphere, or is a fan of adventure games. If you enjoyed this indie discovery, if you like what I do, please be sure to follow this channel. I'd really appreciate it. I also stream on Twitch Monday through Thursday at 1.30 p.m. Pacific time at twitch.tv slash So hang out with me there. That's where I play indie games, RPGs, and do the occasional freestyle dance stream. Uh, it's really chill. It's really nice to see you guys hang out in the, in the chat. And uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video.